liberal-run restaurant Red Hen is taking its fair share of, well-deserved, backlash, after the anti-Trump owner booted out White House spokesperson Sarah Huckabee Sanders in the middle of her meal, simply because she works for the president. The owner claims she felt a moral conviction to kick Sarah and her kids out of the restaurant and liberals are applauding her. The same liberals who were outraged when a baker refused to design a cake for a gay wedding based on religious convictions. Needless to say, any decent American does not believe that a person should be denied service simply because of who they voted for or worked for, and the Red Hen is taking even more backlash, as now VA lawmakers are rebuking the rude establishment for their vile behavior. What Red Hen did, does beg the question. Are people who voted for Trump not allowed to eat there? From Briet Bart, Virginia lawmaker Ben Klein, RVA, and Rep. Bob Goodland, RVA, apologized on Saturday to White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders who was kicked out of the Red Hen restaurant in Lexington, Virginia, on Friday night because she works for President Donald Trump. On behalf of my hometown of Lexington, I want to apologize for the rudeness of one liberal New York transplant, who also happens to be Meryl Streep's cousin. We hope you will come back and enjoy our area's true southern hospitality, Klein tweeted in response the Sanders tweet about being tossed out because restaurant owner Stephanie Wilkinson she is anti-Trump. What a press sec experienced in Lexington last night is very unfortunate and doesn't reflect accurately upon the kind and caring people of Lexington that I know. There are many great and innovative businesses in hash VA06 that I hope you'll come back to visit, Goodlett tweeted. Last night I was told by the owner of Red Hen in Lexington, VA to leave because I work for at POTUS and I politely left. Her actions say far more about her than about me. I always do my best to treat people, including those I disagree with, respectfully and will continue to do so, Sanders tweeted on Saturday. Since the blatant and hateful act of discrimination showed up on social media about the incident left-wing, anti-Trump crowd has been weighing in with their hate speech while conservatives have tried to point out their response is hypocritical. Well gee you lie to us so much, and you defend a man who lies pathologically and commits crimes against humanity on the reg. These are the reasons this place did not want to serve you. When he's in jail and you write a book about all the stuff you couldn't say then I will not forget, celebrity Sarah Silverman tweeted. Honest Q, so the left thinks it's not okay to refuse service WRT sexual orientation, not what SCOTUS decided BTW, but at the same time believes that it is okay to refuse service based on political affiliation and personal disagreement? Remember, nobody has been indicted for crimes, Joel Fisher. A New York Republican, tweeted, Briet Bard News reported Jake Foley Schultz, a waiter at the restaurant, wrote on Facebook about the incident on Saturday. I just served Sarah Huckabee Sanders for a total of two minutes before my owner kicked her out along with seven of her other family members. Foley Schultz wrote, That post was later edited to read, I just served Sarah Huckabee Sanders for a total of two minutes before my owner asked her to leave and she complied. Her family left on their own accord, we didn't actually refuse service or kick her out. Apostrophe. The left-wing Washington Post was quick to come to Wilkinson's defense, saying she was at home when a distraught staff called her with the news that Sanders was at the restaurant and she and her party had been served cheeseboards. The Post reported, and she knew, she believed, that Sarah Huckabee Sanders worked in the service of an inhumane and unethical administration, that she publicly defended the president's cruelest policies, and that that could not stand. I'm not a huge fan of confrontation, Wilkinson said. I have a business, and I want the business to thrive. This feels like the moment in 